If you've ever found yourself looking for too long at a photo of a celebrity online, then you know that images have a strong unconscious pull. Now a new generation of technologists is trying to understand what qualities draw us to images and codify that into software. They want to know, amid the two billion plus photos that people upload online every day, what photos are the most beautiful, the most compelling? Which ones will entice us to click? I am, a startup in Berlin with backing from prominent venture capitalist Peter Thiel, asked thousands of photographers to weigh in on beautiful or compelling photos of sunsets, parks, and other scenes. They programmed a computer model to look at those photos and identify the abstract qualities that made them compelling. IAM then publishes the photos its algorithm ranks as the most beautiful and sells them on its marketplace to publishers. Startup Neon Labs, based in San Francisco, looked at what parts of the brain light up when people look at images in a video. It gathered large amounts of data and developed millions of parameters that attract people to images. Now the software works with companies like the Sundance Channel or gaming company IGN to help them select which thumbnails from video they should showcase on their websites. As an experiment, we ran a handful of Wall Street Journal videos through their software. Here's what they found. Here we see a few factors at play. We know that humans are unconsciously drawn to faces, especially famous or familiar faces like Donald Trump's. We also know that people are drawn to images where the subject of the image is showing interest in something happening off screen. Finally, Trump appears to be mid-sentence. Viewers are compelled towards images where the subject appears to be engaged and the viewer wants to know what comes next. At first blush, this image of a Saudi king appears to be kind of boring. After all, he's not even looking at the camera and he's just reading. The most attractive thing in the picture, according to Neon software, is the flowers. Viewers are drawn to saturated, bold, bright colors. They find that this is true across devices from smartphones to connected TVs. In this image from the recent Hajj pilgrimage in Saudi Arabia, we see that the primary figure in the scene is looking off screen. Neon calls this characteristic off-screen attention, which plays on the principle of incompleteness. The viewer is unconsciously drawn to a scene where the information is incomplete. They want to know what the man is looking at, which leads them to click. Technologies like these promise to supercharge our attraction to the images that we see online. Just the way that Google indexed the textual web, they could also help us sift through the ever-growing visual web. But the question remains, will technologies that amplify our attraction to images play to the lowest common denominator taste, or will algorithms enhance our experience of beauty?